succeed, our artists succeed. Congratulations, body paint models, and welcome to the Max Body Paint Competition. My name is Emma Dubin, and I am here as a professional model and a professional body paint model to give you tips and tricks to help your body paint experience be a success, both for you and for your artists. About some preparation, ways to prepare both mentally, physically, and you're gonna to want to bring like a little kit along with you. So, for your body, what are we gonna do? We're gonna show up real, real clean, no oils on us, no lotions, no perfume, because we want this paint to adhere to our skin seamlessly. And if there's any lotion or oils that isn't just natural, that paint isn't going to stick as well as it needs to. And we need it to be like as seamless as possible so that our artists can win and that their piece is shown off to the best of our ability. Okay, other ways to prep is to get clear with your artist about what parts and bits and everything you need to shave. Another way to prep your body is just making sure that your hair is up or you prepare it in a way that you and your artist have already discussed and agreed upon. When they're painting your neck and they're painting your back or other parts of your body, your hair is not in the way because that is not the point. Your skin, which is your canvas, is the point. You want to bring along in your kit a bottle of water or a thermos, some snacks to snack on. Bring those snacks along. You're going to want to bring a pair of shoes that you and your artist have agreed upon. Having a conversation with your artist about what kind of underwear you're going to be bringing and a robe. A robe. Everybody bring a robe. Thank you. Robes are really necessary because your whole entire body paint piece is a surprise. You figure out what's best for you, but being overly prepared is probably better than being underprepared, especially when we're talking about a full day and needing energy that lasts throughout the full day. Let's talk about painty time. Don't mingle, it's not a mingling time. This is very like, you are the canvas. Six hours is, is what they get to cover your whole body and their story and their image. And you're not like frozen for six hours, but you are in, in stillness in this little zone. Another part that is super, super important is to bend those knees. Bend those knees. So having a bounce in your knees while you're standing it is like one of the most essential things. If you're feeling lightheaded, if you're standing like, whoa, I'm feeling a little off center, check your knees, babes, check them. Make sure they have a little bounce in them. Make sure that your torso is straight. We're not asking you to do perfect posture, but we are asking you to have a straight spine and, you know, be active with keeping yourself there and be active with keeping a little bit of bounce in those knees. You know, I always like to do a little wiggle here and there, a wiggle of my toes, a wiggle of my fingers. If you want to like move your arm to get something or bend down, think about where your artist is on painting your canvas and also just like give them a heads up, you know, it's okay. Just think and communicate. Remember that stance of staying straight. Remember that you need to keep those knees bent. Part of the judging is that every inch of skin is covered in paint. So when you're um, saying yes to being a body paint model, that you are saying yes to getting your body touched, but you're not saying yes to it getting handled. You're just saying yes to, hey, you get to paint me. Super important for you to have your boundaries and your like personal needs met and recognized as, and we definitely recognize them here. And I just wanna give you all the empowering voice to be able to vocalize when something isn't feeling good to you. So if you have a part of your body that's particularly sensitive or that you might be triggered by, just communicate that to your artist beforehand so your artist is aware. say um, you're going to go shoot with a photographer and that photographer is coming towards you to move you like to touch you and physically move you you can say hey would you communicate to me what your needs are and then I can 
digest that and apply that to this pose right now. Or you can start a photography session out by saying, hey, if you need me to move or if you need me to adjust something, can you just communicate and let me know? And that way, both you and the photographer know that like, hey, just coming up and touching me and moving me because I'm this model object art piece right now is not okay with me. Um, if it is okay with you and you're, you love people touching you and you're comfortable with that, that's awesome. But I also just want to remind every single one of you that vocalizing your needs for boundaries is really, really necessary and awesome. And I hope you feel empowered and I hope you have the ability to do so when needed. After the performance and everything, there are going to be strangers who want to take pictures with you. You are able to say, hi, let's just stand right next to each other. Oh, you want a hug? Maybe it's a high five. Or maybe it's a hug. Just know what your boundaries are going in. Think about it. Allow yourself to adjust those boundaries if need be. Just remember that you can always reach out to your artist or someone in charge and they will listen to you. Let's talk about performance. So we have like three stages, right? We have the prep, we have the painting time, and now we're in performance. And performance has three stages to it as well. And that is judging. The performance aspect of judging, I'd say, is a little bit more in stillness. We're embodying our artist's story. If I am embodying an angelic creature, I might have my arms out and I might have more like swan-like movements as I'm slowly turning 360, showing off these pieces. If I'm a dark, grotesque creature, I might have a posture in my hand or a way that my torso moves that gives off the grotesque feeling. And remember, you can use facial expressions and you can use body stance. You want this openness in your torso. You want an openness for those legs um, to be seen and for your art to be seen. So if you're on the side, you're showing off the side, make sure your arm is up or out of the way. That's not just like this. Let that part of the piece really lift up and turn. So my general rule of thumb for judging is just like a little bit more stillness in your movement, but full embodiment. And we want the judges to be able to see every bit of these pieces but we also want to understand what this piece is. Okay, now we're moving on to pictures. When you're getting your picture taken, right, you're gonna pose and you're gonna hold. And you're gonna pose and you're gonna hold. Being aware of what the story is, being aware that you want to communicate to that lens what the story of this piece is. Remember, you're a beautiful masterpiece. And this isn't just about like, oh, look at my stuff, look at my booty, uh, uh, uh. No, this is about, look at this art, I am art. And like, that is what we're portraying, is the story, the feeling, and that moment of being um, your artist's work of art. Okay, moving on to performance. Y'all, this is the time to play, 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 play. You get to go as like embodied creature, epic, like there is infinite possibility here, which is the beauty of body paint modeling runway. It is like one of my favorite run runways to do. So like, right, we have regular runway, which is for fashion world. Fashion world wants that like, Stoicness so that the clothes are showing off. Body paint, modeling. We really just want you to have fun embodying your piece of art. So, how is that gonna look? I'm gonna show you some examples of like pieces that I've done. And also, I want you to prep yourself by just having fun at home and thinking about what style of movement is gonna really show off this piece of art. 
So if you're, let's say, a little butterfly, maybe you want to add some skips to this runway walk with some twirls. And remember, there's no rush. Don't rush, take your time. Milk this experience because this is when the audience who is, you know, paid to come and see this beautiful runway show of awesome art on body paint models, this is their first reveal. So taking your time to really just like get into the mode and the feeling of what this piece of art is. And like now is the time for you to just bring it, bring it to the table and let yourself just shine and perform. So you're moving and you're grooving and then you wanna stop and just hold for a moment and just allow the audience and everybody to see and witness and then you're gonna turn and you're moving and grooving and then you stop. And maybe, and, prop, and at the end of the runway, let's give ourselves a really nice still 360, as much movement and like styles of movement are explored on the runway of body paint modeling. There's also a need for stillness and for those reveal moments. So think of it like click, a picture is going to be captured. And that's really going to help showcase your artist piece and that's going to showcase you as a model and showing that you can provide not just like I'm a canvas here's the art mm, take a picture of me but you're showing that you can embody this piece of art that is on you and if you get to know what your music is ahead of time then like hey and if the music that you're walking to or moving to on that runway is, um, you know, you don't have it ahead of time to practice to, then no worries. Just give yourself the trust, give yourself the love, look at what you're wearing, be aware of everything that's going on your body. I think the fun thing about my jacket today is I have a little canoe guy. So yeah, I was showing this off and I was painted in these forms, it would definitely be like more geometric, because it's very geometric. And then I would have to showcase this at some point. So pushing my hip forward, allowing the audience to see that part, like allowing myself to frame my body with my arms, with my hands, with my feet, you know? There's so much play that you can do here, and I hope that you get the opportunity to explore this play. And I really hope you have a very successful and wonderful time being a body paint model. Keep, keep being your beautiful selves and bring what you can to this piece of art.